the god gun, Battlefield 1 Badger. I finally figured out how to get my mic to work after being in here for almost 20 minutes and... Oh, oh, so many, it's so many encounters like this on Xbox Live. I'm thinking my mic What if I just working. immediately banned you? <laughs> <laughs> What if we all started chanting Barry oh B. Benson? Whose laugh is that? Someone has a laugh. That is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> we need to narrow this down. Who is this laughing meme? St oh. <laughs> RE Supplies. That is uh, that is Dancer in the Dark, Megarine Luca. I am a fan of that. Ho oh, oh. ho. Why did I know that artwork? Oh, God, I love Luca so much. The song's actually really good. Is it? No, that's not him. Where did that laughing clown go? <laughs> awesome! Can I please jump on the bandwagon of making a video about weapons that I think should be added to the game? Because my sub box has not filled with DLC weapons, weapon mm. leaks, potential we Can we just please cut out all the subtle requests and just add a f***ing stinger to the game? Because that's definitely yeah. what I want. I want a f***ing <laughs> stinger. You know what a stinger is. It's that auto-seeking shoulder-fired rocket that can effortlessly track and destroy aircraft with a yeah. the trigger. Don't act like you don't want it, because the mass majority of my deaths in this game are three things. Aircraft, sniper rifles, and nade spam. And although it's yeah. not historically accurate, getting to use a stinger would cut out a third of those annoyances. Yeah. Rampage! Come on, man. I have no horse killing thing. When I hit a plane... <laughs> We're bad here. Bought on with the AT rocket gun, which requires you to be prone or set up on an object, by the way, and yeah. only partially damage it. I think that's a little unfair. That shit is fucking trash. Sniper rifles may be annoying, <laughs> but. Oh man, I feel right at home when people start crap shit, they start shit talking like that. They're never really gonna go away, and the whole nade spam thing, not a huge fan. Especially as the assault class, because you can equip anti-tank grenades as a gadget, and yeah. have your default grenades, that makes it so you can potentially have four grenades to toss as soon as you spawn in, which is kind of a joke. So in yeah. response to all this cheese, which... Ugh, so annoying. I like to run around with what I refer to as the God Gun. Yeah, I was recently huh? watching a video from this guy named Operator Drewski that was called the king of all shotguns in BF1, which I thought was well done, but at the same time, in the words of the real Slim Shady, I just drank and fit the Kool-Aid. Dare me to drop? Wait, that's the... Why be a king when you can be a god? That's the right one. It <laughs> Introducing the Model 10A, a gun so amazing the game outright tells you when you unlock it. Bro, bro, I'd immediately use that. I mean, like, look, the devs put that in the game, hell yeah. You've got three if different types right. in the Model 10A Broken, the Model 10A More Broken, and the Model 10A Why Does This Even Exist? And I was originally yeah. under the impression that it was just an ordinary shotgun until I actually started using it. What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY god! <laughs> completely and utterly overpowered, and if this thing doesn't get nerfed, I don't know what will. Yeah. Nice. Just so we're clear, I do not at all recommend using the slugs variant of the 10A. It kind of just defeats the purpose of using a shoddy. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm wanting to use an insta-kill weapon, I needed to instantly kill people on a consistent basis, which the slugs do not. Oh, Although the slugs yeah. can instantly kill in close quarters, there's too many instances where you need a second shot to kill someone, and as far as it being a long-range threat, it's not. Right, so it's not a long-range threat, and if you need the... Just I need to put this uh, the put the enemy player down, and it cannot consistently do that, or requires the follow up shot. The tempo is automatically longer than the rest of the the variants, so that makes sense at all. Like when you're up against guns like the Martini Henry, forget about it. If I'm using a shotgun, I need to consistently one shot people at close range. Nice. That's much easier to accomplish with a 10A Hunter or Factory. The only difference between the two is that the Factory recovers from recoil faster, and the Hunter has a tighter pellet coat. That's yeah. it. So the real lesson yeah. here is to stop playing Roblox and learn how to aim with the Hunter. But, oh. but, I have noticed that the factory version of the 10A works best when you pretend that you're a worm. Ba, 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 ba. Honestly, worm, the fact that Wormstrat works consists consistently in games is wild. Yeah, 
you should also probably know that the A in 10A stands for ambitious, because you should always have the attitude that you can snipe someone from obscene distances. Target eliminated! Amazing. Suck a little less, scrub! On a quick side note, I think we need to make a <laughs> Kickstarter for all those players who suffer from APJS, also known as Ammo Pouch Jiggle Syndrome. You know what I'm talking about. Like, you can just be staring at a dead body, nothing's really happening, then out of nowhere, some guy will just flail himself onto your screen and start twerking his waist. What? <laughs> Please don't patch this dice. I secretly love it. I think. No, that's great. Uh, that is gonna be muted though. If if you're watching this, I that song has consistently just been copyrighted into the ground for me. The reason that I know the 10A is overpowered is because I can actually do well with it on a consistent basis. Because you know that in comparison to most of you, my aim is atrocious, but. Even with me consistently missing easy shots, I can still dominate, which tells me there's a problem. <laughs> I appreciate the holiday remix. Oh, that, that gives me that gives me serotonin. Hell yeah. The biggest piece of advice I have for this thing, apart from teaching yourself how to perform a moving teabag, which is, I'm not even mad about, how does- I'm not, I ain't even mad, bro. bro. if I'm downed by somebody from halfway across the map with a, like, a shotgun or an SMG, and they just roll up like that, I ain't even mad, bro. Like, they're, they're just next level. They do that. Cause he's ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest piece of advice I have for you about the 10A is to be patient. I know you're like me and you want to whip out your shoddy like John Gotti and scramble around killing everyone, but it is a smart idea just to take your time. Flank around the enemy and try to get as much as your pellets on target as possible. Right. Even if that means taking an extra breath or a split second. Yeah. Well, I've nice. killed you a lot. The only real downside of the weapon is that you end up killing so many people that running out of ammo is normally an issue. Oh god, look at this guy. <laughs> Is he actually running an automatic machine gun instead of a sh- What? What? Ah. And that's about- <laughs> It's just the sheer confusion. About it. Tune in next- No. 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 Potion of the man. Oh no! You know, this is why Call of Duty doesn't give us the ability to make our own emblems anymore, is it? This is exactly the reason, right? Fine, I will admit it. I, I know that- Well, I mean, I know this is Battlefield, but I'm saying, like, the reason we can't make our own emblems Ocean anymore. Man is cancerous, but when my brain's at idle, when I'm not thinking about anything at all, what's going on up there? Ocean <laughs> Man <Mind Lost. laughs> I wish I could get rid of it, but I can't. I just can't. But that's can't. really about it. Be uh -uh. sure to tune in next nope. time when we- Make the nade spam in this game even worse by using a silly crossbow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for this kids, they're so far into the ground, they may as well delete it from the game entirely. Also, I actually watched the B movie recently. I still haven't. Rated to B plus. Yeah, high rating for a seven minute film. <laughs> Old Badger just hits different. Like his old videos are still absolute gold. Thank you, Badger, for just being an absolute unit.